The following is a non-profit fan-based episode. Rick and Morty is owned by Cartoon Network and Adult Swim and was created by Justin Roiland and Dan Harmon. We have no affiliation with the creators of the show or the network. We're just fans that enjoyed the show and I wanted to create this experiment of an audio drama to see how it would turn out. This takes place in an alternate universe, C-138, rather than C-137, where our main versions of Rick and Morty are followed, and Jerry and Beth are still divorced. Listener discretion is advised for foul language, sounds of violence, and sounds of horror. Please do enjoy the program. Rick wrecked my marriage. Now I'm going to wreck his shit. Hmm? What's this? Necronomicon? Oh! This looks neat! Maybe I can conjure a spell that'll take that bastard out of our lives forever! Finglue Miglunafa? Cthulhu? Rele Wega Niggle? Fit time. Did I say that right? <clears throat> oh! Hey, honey. Sorry I didn't tell you I was coming over. I, um, wanted to surprise you. You here to surprise me? Or to surprise Rick? The, the, the whole family. Yes! Big surprise for all of you. Look, Jerry. I chose Rick staying here over you, and I haven't changed my mind. I know you're not happy with the divorce. Not happy? Beth, I've been living alone for weeks and rarely get to see my own kids. I worry about you guys because you're living with a crazy genius who you clearly don't realize sabotaged our marriage. Okay, get out of here or I'll tell Dad you've been messing with his stuff. No, I'm not leaving. Leave, Jerry. Now. You know what? This is still my house and I will stay. No, you're not. Things wouldn't be like this if you hadn't. Um, Jerry? Honey, I'm not finished with my... Mom? Hello? Where are you? What was she yelling about? Sounded like she was yelling at someone. Jeez, she's not been herself lately. God, this divorce sucks. I know. I wish they'd get back together already. Hey guys, what's going on? Maury, will you grab me a bottle of Arcadian Gulag Moon? It really hits the spot after a trip to the universe's spiciest hot wing restaurant. You literally eat fire. Rick, Mom was yelling at something or someone, and now she's gone. Vanished. Well, I hope she didn't touch anything, because most of this stuff is... What the fuck is the Necronomicon doing out here, Morty? Uh, what? What did you read, Morty? What did you read? Uh, nothing, Rick! Seriously, Grandpa Rick, we have no clue what this is. Oh, never read H.P. Lovecraft or watch Evil Dead, huh? Kids, the Necronomicon is the Book of the Dead. It's an ancient book that has spells that can cast demons or send people to one of many dark dimensions that are inside. Oh, no! Ma could be in the book! Now, hold on. Before we, we, we go, we gotta figure out who would open this book and read from it. I don't think Beth would be dumb enough to... Jerry. Welcome to the Yori Dimension, Morty, one of many dark dimensions the Necronomicon has access to. Each one is home to the Outer Gods and the Great Old Ones. And I'm not talking about the dimension of senior fucking citizens, Morty. After looking for the Necronomicon, it looks like your your parents ended up in Raoye or Raya or however they pronounce their cities over here. Even the gods will mispronounce them sometimes, Morty. What makes you so sure they'd be there? Sacrificial ceremonies, Morty. 
Newcomers always end up there, and Ray is the best city to host them. Oh, jeez, Rick! We gotta help them! We're almost there, Morty. Don't get your panties in a bundle. Grandpa Rick, how did you get the Necronomicon anyway? I won it at a poker tournament. A squid-looking guy bet the book, I bet the earth. Be glad I cheated that round. You bet our planet on a book? I'm not really surprised. Eat shit, Morty. Also, that wasn't the only bet. Why did you even agree to a second bet? Because Rick Sanchez never loses a bet, Morty. The bet was if any creatures get out of the Necronomicon, I have to hand the earth over to that aquatic motherfucker. And he'd eat my liver. So we're screwed if we fail? Yep. Great. Let's just get in, grab mom and dad, and get out. Agreed. Well, here we are. Fetuses, come get your hot fetuses. Promises? Lightly used promises over here. Extra fleavy. Step right up, we are selling rotten fingers today. Just the fingers, nothing else. No toes, no eyes, no ears. Anybody interested in getting on stage and showing your best cosplay costume? Five minutes left stage. Rick, is this a convention? Yeah, Morty, Cthulhu Con. Everyone comes here to worship the great old ones, like you nerds and teenage girls worship celebrities, superheroes, Selena Gomez, or whoever. Aw, uh, I love Selena Gomez. I feel like I've heard of Cthulhu. He's the great dreamer, Morty. He looks like the love child of an octopus and a dragon. All these sea creature looking motherfuckers on the posters, they're his relatives. Ew, most of them look disgusting. Especially that one. That one's near Lefertep. That fucker doesn't always look like he has tentacles on his face. That one can shapeshift. How do you know about this stuff, Rick? In case any idiot like your father decides to open up the Necronomicon, I'd know who I'd be up against. Yes, Morty, I read the book, but never out loud. Oh. Attention, the sacrificial ceremony will begin in 10 minutes. Please line up in line A. Once the line is full, line up to line B. Please don't button line or you will be sacrificed for the glory of Great Cthulhu. Thank you. Guess we better head inside. Yeah, yeah, Cthulhu, the target. Where are these weird human amphibian hybrid people? They're the cult of Cthulhu, Morty. They've been underwater for a long time and they needed more uh, followers, so they interbred with the amphibious creatures here. Oh my god, that is so gross. Better than them breeding with corpses like in some of the other dark dimensions. Oh, that's disgusting, Rick. Why would they do that? Beats me. Let's get inside. Thank you so much for coming to our latest annual Cthulhu Con. I've lost count as to how many times I've been your host for this convention, but this year's Cthulhu Con will be a very special one. Before we begin the ceremony today, I want to take a moment to introduce you to our special guest. They're about to bring out the sacrifices! Hurry! Meet our newest members of the Cult of Cthulhu, Jerry and Beth Smith! Members? Oh no! Well, Jerry, you done fucked up big time. Hello, my, Hello, my new, new friends. friends. It's, it's truly, truly an honor, honor to be here, here with you with all, all, celebrating our Lord, Lord, the Great Cthulhu. My husband and I were divorced, and it was unbearable to deal with. But, but thanks to Hannah's kindness and her, and her gifted wisdom and the will of the great, great dreamer, dreamer, we've become, we become closer, closer than ever. <laughs> and since, since we're the newbies, newbies of this, of this cult, cult, Jerry and, Jerry and I, I get, get to have first dibs on the sacrifices. Please, please don't kill us. Hester, Hester Stavos. Give it up, man. The king in yellow never replies to prayers. You gotta do something. Time for plan B. Plan B? What was plan A? Same as plan B, Morty. But plan B is gonna hurt. Oh, jeez. Alright, kids. Hang on to me. Yeah! 
<laughs> Woohoo! Hey, motherfuckers! I'm crashing your party, bitch! Lab coat wingsuit, baby! Jerry! Jerry. The whole family's here. Hey, kids! Your grandfather and I need to have a word. Hey, Jerry! Suck my dick! Why is he coming this way? Ooh. Morty? Summer? You both okay? Yeah, we're fine. Mom, why are you doing this? Oh, sweetie, we serve Lord Cthulhu now. Due to his power and strength, we were able to conquer our demons and fix our marriage. And you want to sacrifice people to him to thank him for saving your marriage? Don't you realize that you're being brainwashed? This isn't you! For all the good Lord Cthulhu has given us, we have to give back. I hope you'll understand, Morty. Otherwise, you'll be next. No, 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 no. You, you won't take us... Rick, do you have anything to restrain them? Rick? Where's Hannah? Oh, great. Dad, stop! You're here to ruin my marriage again, aren't you? That you did yourself. Great Cthulhu fixed our marriage. You will not destroy it. I'm not sure which version of you is dumber, Jerry. Brainwashed you or normal you. Both of you suck. Ow! Son of a bitch. Stop fighting him! Sweetie, let go of me and let your dumbass husband and I settle this. Attention guests, due to the unexpected intrusion, the sacrifices are canceled. That's a relief. Whoa, I was so excited. Crap, how will we please Cthulhu now? Can we go home now? However, in three minutes, Cthulhu himself will be coming to Rhea. Oh my god, Jim! He's coming! Our Lord is coming! Our Savior! No, 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 no! <laughs> Fuck it! Morty! Summer! We have to go! Grandpa, no! We're not leaving our parents! There's no time! They're too brainwashed to allow us to take them! We have to get back in the car! We've come all this way! We have to get our parents! <laughs> Sorry, Morty. This is better than what's coming. Also, that felt kind of good. Grandpa, why? Uh, questions later. Escaping eternal madness now. The car is protective psychic shielding. It'll keep us safe from Cthulhu. Psychic shielding? For what? Oh shit. He's here. Oh, shit. Oh. Hey, did we make it back? We did not. That is Cthulhu, Morty. Oh my god! What's he going to do to my parents, Rick? A fate you would have experienced if I didn't knock you into your senses, Morty. You should be thanking me. Why the hell should I? Uh, I'll show you. I can't believe he's here! He is so here! Cthulhu! Don't look directly at his eyes, kids! Why? That! <laughs> Cthulhu is here! I'm gonna kill some bitches! <laughs> die! 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 Die!
Oh my god! No! Mom! Dad! They're killing the sacrifices! I think I'm gonna... Really, Summer? I just had those seats refurnished. Rick! Everyone's going insane and killing each other! And you're, you're concerned about chairs? Yes, Morty. Thanks to your sister, the back of my car is going to smell like your mom's mac and cheese if it were made in a vaginal oven. Oh, gosh, you're going to make me puke again. Fuck your car seats, Rick! What the fuck did you just say? You heard me! You bet our whole planet on a demonic book, and you, you brought it home with you, and now we're, we're in the shit where my parents are psycho murderers because your idiot father decided to read it to screw me over, and he wouldn't have done that if you didn't hate him! You little shit! Stop it! Both of you! Can we, like, please focus on saving Mom and Dad? Okay, okay. Yeesh. And if we get home, we're destroying the Necronomicon. Whatever. Bello's still been one anyway. So what are we going to do? We're gonna find Hannah. She's the only one there that didn't seem as crazy as those guys down there. Maybe she'll know how to make Beth and Jerry uncrazy. <laughs> Looks like she's right below the ceremony and not within Cthulhu's gaze. Get those armored suits on in the back. They probably smell like Summer's afterbirth lunch. Hey! You're the one who puked in my car, Summer, but they'll protect us from the crazies we'll encounter. I'll park as close as I can. You know, this is a really scary place, Rick. I don't like this. Don't become a chicken shit on me, Morty. No, Rick. I mean, it's too quiet. How much farther do we have to go until... Kill them. of your suits. Weapons should be inside. It's like Robocop. Only except they have stun functions in case your parents attack us. Thanks, Rick! Thanks, Grandpa! Kill, blooming stun. Did they not teach you this at school? All right, school's for idiots. Nice shooting, kids. Let's keep going. <laughs> Set guns to stun, kids. Sorry, Mom and Dad. Um, Rick? Nothing's working. Aw, oh, shit. I forgot to add more stun ammo. I used up all of them last time I went to the strip club in the Neo Galaxy. Don't ask why I was there, but the girls there really... Let's let him handle this. Uh, I'm so pissed with you both! Y you couldn't keep your marriage together till some big sea monster just brainwashed you into being together! That is not how you fix a divorce! Stay divorced! When you come back, then get back together the right way! Until then... I just watched my brother beat the shit out of my parents. Well, it's kind of therapeutic, if you ask me. Let's go. I'm impressed you made it this far. I've never had anyone not go crazy after Cthulhu arrives. I'll finally have someone to talk to. Aren't we special? Well, of course you are. You're from another dimension, and that fascinates me. 
Tell us how to make my parents say it again or I'll blow your fucking head off. Holy shit, Summer. We won't miss. <laughs> Such determination. I like that. Maybe we can arrange a deal. What deal? I'll free your parents from their insanity and let you go home. But I went out of this world. 13,000 years and 13,000 faces? Yeah, I'm ready for something new. No way, creepy smiley bitch! Your cult won't be coming to our dimension if I have anything to say about it! Plus, there's a bet on the line! That's too bad. I've always wanted to visit Egypt again. I got so much from there last time. Great! You and the pharaohs are the same interior decorators. What are you, some kind of... Wait a minute... 13,000 faces? Egyptian architecture? That creepy smile? Whoa, 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 whoa! Shit! Rick! Holy shit! Fire! Kids! Your, your guns won't do shit! This bitch is near a left for temp! What? <laughs> You think Cthulhu is bad news? This one's a batshit crazy outer god! Haven't been called batshit crazy before. Crazy, yes, but not batshit. Uh, <coughs> god damn, that hurt. Rick, you strike me as a man who is also batshit crazy and yet a genius. You know fighting me with your weapons and fists won't be enough to take down a god? True. I can kick your ass with this. Take cover! Rick, you okay? I'm fine, Morty. Let's let's just hurry up and and find a way to make your parents sane again before Nier Lefertep wakes up. How did you even know that would work? I didn't. But then again, the Necronomicon never said anything about flying cars. Any luck, guys? Nothing yet! <sighs> come on, come on! Grandpa Rick, I think I found something! Is that a baby Cthulhu? Looks like it. And there's files inside the pod's mainframe. Seems like it was manufactured here. And according to these lab results, it's the source of everyone's brainwashing. Good work, Summer. Thanks, Grandpa. <laughs> Hurry up! Cthulhu's close! Grab the baby Cthulhu and, and get to the car! We'll figure out what we need to do with him when we're clear! Faster? Shut the fuck up, Morty, and let me concentrate! Hey, hey, you can stop squirming. We're not going to hurt you. Doesn't this thing have hydraulics or, or power boosts or something? No, Morty. What it does have is a fucking annoying passenger that won't keep his fucking lips shut. It's coming closer! Rick, we're not gonna fit through that tight canyon! Yes, we are, Morty. Hold on! Lick, lick, lick my balls, you great old bitch! <laughs> Stop the fucking car! You can talk? Yes, I can. I normally speak in a language you wouldn't understand like all the cultists in Raya. But this way, we can speak freely. What are you? I was created to be a bargaining chip, to be used against my dad. She took blood tissue from him and used it to create me. She gained more followers with blood being injected into any newcomers to the area. She was entertained for ages watching people turn insane because if Cthulhu didn't show up, I'd be tortured. But now she wants to escape and do the same thing in multiple motherfucking dimensions. Can you convince your dad not to eat us? And make our parents sane again? Or beat the shit out of Nero Lefertep? 
Yes, yes, and <clears throat> no. That last part, we'll need to work together to take that fucking bitch down. That will help if it means my freedom. Defeating that psycho bitch, and he can go back to sleep. He hates being awake. All right, I like it. Let's go uh, kick some ass. Wubba lubba dub dub. The fuck does that mean? Attention all citizens of Raya, your god has fled, and I, Neon Lethrotep, will be your master. You have one job, kill Rick, Morty, and Summer, and give me back Cthulhu's baby. Together we shall... <laughs> Everyone battle! King, baby. Is that a new catchphrase? Let me get home. I got some movies to show you. step and Jerry and Beth die. No need to. You think just because you're a god that means you have dominion over us? Well guess what? We have a god on our side. <laughs> you? You were manufactured from the DNA of a great old one. You're meant to be a tool, not a god. No, I am a great young one. The first of my kind. And my first decree will be ripping your fucking arms off, Dad! Let's take this bitch down! <laughs> A real fight for once. Let's make it even, shall we? <laughs> Predator was ugly. Holy shit. It's like if the xenomorph and, a, and the thing had, had sex with Predator, but both of them had terrible diseases and their kid ended up being damaged from it. The, the, the elephant man looks like George Clooney compared to that. Grandpa Rick, stop! I mean, look at her. I mean, or it, or whatever. It's it's like if a fucked up cockroach decided to have sex with a koala bear and it, it just got nuked the shit out of, but still somehow lived and crawled and became Godzilla-sized. It, it's the most disgusting thing I've ever seen. Let's get my parents and get the fuck out of here! Right, right, yeesh. Okay, baby, do your magic. On it. Time to get some payback. Oh my god, guys, I'm so happy to see you. What is this place? 
Ugh, my head is killing me. Be glad you don't remember. It's all... You were brainwashed by a deity from a book Jerry read that put the both of you inside of because he tried to sabotage me and then the two of you became brainwashed servants that worshipped Cthulhu who is now on our side and you guys went batshit crazy and killed some people. Morty in the armored suit beat you up because you attacked us. Congrats, your ex-husband is a moron and you two became psycho murderers because he wanted revenge on me because he blames me for wrecking your already fucked up marriage. I'm starting to remember. Beth. I... I I'm so sorry. I didn't mean for this to... Just please, get us out of here, Dad. <clears throat> sure, sweetie. Kids, get your mom and your dumbass father in the car. Baby, we're leaving. Thanks for your help. Thank you for saving me. I will use my freedom to its full potential. Here we go. Go kick her ass! Come on, portal open and fuck yes! Motherfucker, that's the way out! Let go of me! You're not going anywhere. Dad, will you do the honors? No! No! doing with a flamethrower not like this rick not like this sorry jerry but this isn't for you and rick sanchez never loses a bet to prevent shit like this from happening again my stuff is off limits without my permission forever and jerry never enter my garage again you're right it's my fault this happened. I'm so sorry, everyone. Jerry, I chose Rick over you. That doesn't mean I don't still care for you. But the truth is, we still need more time. Making rash decisions like what you did was wrong, but... Honey, it's okay. I tried to force us to be together again. But Rick's right. I shouldn't have tried to make things worse. Just because I was angry at him. I want us to be together again. And Hannah, or whatever she was, did make it happen. But it wasn't real. If it's meant to be, we gotta be patient. And that day will come, Dad. Just not now. We're glad you're safe. And we love you. At least most of us do. Whatever. Anywho, get the fuck out of here, Jerry. Okay. Bye, everyone. Bye! Bye. I'm going to go to my room and drink some wine. Don't go anywhere. Please? Sure, sweetie. Let me just grab the Evil Dead movies. We're gonna have ourselves a movie <laughs> marathon! Um, I'm, I'm not sure if I'm up for that after all we went through. Oh, trust me, Morty. You'll love it. The way they handle the death and the gore and the makeup, it's all old school, Morty. The way they made films back in the day. It was great, Morty. You'll enjoy it. Eh, why the hell not? And let's watch RoboCop afterwards. Yeah! That's what I'm talking about, Summer! <laughs> Thanks for listening to our first audio-only episode! Good night!
Everyone, thank you for coming to our newly designed Cthulhu card. Before we get into the new rules and such of the convention, I wanted to take a moment to thank Rick and his little servants for helping us usher in a new era of sacrifices, worship, and letting our dreams of the great dreamer come true. And we say unto you, Rick, Wubba Lubba Dub Dub. Wubba Lubba Dub Dub! Wubba Lubba Dub Dub! Wubba Lubba Dub Dub! Wubba Lubba Dub Dub! Rick, the great old one of his dimension. Wubba Lubba Dub Dub! Wubba Lubba Dub Dub! Thank you so much for listening to my very first audio drama, Rick and Morty C-138, Call of Rick Fulu. Rick and Morty are voiced by myself, William Nunn. Summer is voiced by Brenna Bentley. Beth is voiced by Rachel Stacy. Jerry is voiced by Derek Hubbard. Hannah and Nier Lepertep are voiced by Jamie Hickman. And our special guest star, Neil Irvin, voices Baby. All other voices you hear throughout the episode are done by members of the cast. This project was also written, edited, and directed by myself as well. I do not claim ownership of the sound effects or the music that you have just heard, but we do recommend that you do support the official releases. No copyright infringement intended. Rick and Morty is owned by Cartoon Network and Adult Swim and was created by Justin Roiland and Dan Harmon. I'd like to reiterate that we have no affiliation with creators of the show or anyone else that's worked on it or the network. This was just a fun experiment, and if you would like to hear more from us, please do subscribe to my channel and do share this with your friends. Maybe we can do more Rick and Morty episodes or other episodes of other genres or other things. It would just be really fun to put together. One last thing I want to mention is that my outtake reel for Call of Rick Fulu will be online within the next few days. So please do subscribe so you don't miss out on that. And I hope you'll enjoy that as well. Once more, thank you so much for listening. Hope you enjoyed the program. And hope all of y'all have a fantastic day.